Yo, what's up guys, Boss here, and I'm back with another YouTube video, and this time we're going to be playing some ladder using a deck I've never made a video on before. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Lava Hound deck like this before. Lava Cycle 3.4 Average Elixir, even though 3.4 you wouldn't typically consider a cycle deck, the reason why I consider this a cycle deck is because... Lava 7 Elixir, it is of course your main wink edition, and besides the Lava Hound, everything else is relatively cheap. Besides the Balloon 2, in addition to the Lava Hound, everything else is 3 or less Elixir. You even have Skeletons in it and Bomber. Bomber, really good now in Lava Hound and Golem decks. You guys have probably recently seen Bomber in lots of the, you know, heavier, like, wink edition type decks. Because it's cheaper, makes the cycle just much better you know, better, and it just gets so much value for only two elixir. You have minor to tank for the Lava Pups Balloon, of course. Nice to have that, like, secondary win condition or third win condition, and arrows pair so well in Lava Hound decks, as you guys know. So if you guys want to support me, you can use my credit code BOSS, and you Supercell game helps support me and the channel, and I really do appreciate all you guys who use my code. It means a lot. So we're currently at 7135, a little below my season highest. Around top 600. Not too worried where we're at yet. There's still four days left of the season. My next couple videos after this one are probably going to be on like RG or Electro Giant decks that I think are like really strong in the meta and decks that I also think like I'm pretty good at because uh, we're getting, yeah, getting towards the end of the season here. I'm um, going for the best finish we can. But anyway, here we go. We found our first game versus Ricardo. So Lava First Play is actually okay to do with this deck because you kind of have like a Lava Cycle deck. Um, and your defense is obviously not insanely strong with you only having Skeletons and Bomber or Miner as your only ground card, so you are going to be playing this pretty aggressively. We can go for a Lava Hound here, and depending on what he does, we, I mean, we'll see what he does, right? Like, he's going to go for E-Barbs, so we're going to go for a Miner, and then we can go for a Bomber. That actually fully counters the E-Barbs for a positive Elixir trade, so definitely worth it there. Um, we could have even played the Bomber lower, and then the E-Barbs would have locked on my tower, and it would have stayed alive for counter push, but... I decided not to. So he's going to go for a Fisherman. Fisherman's going to get zero value for him in this matchup. I think we Balloon here. Um, he just used seven Elixir, so I'm curious to see if he has anything else. Um, he's going to go for a Rocket. Very interesting that he has Rocket. Um, I Yeah, I, I think this is RG, but he just has Rocket instead of the Fireball for whatever reason. This Mother Witch is going to be obnoxious. Um, I don't know if the... The, to tell you guys the truth, I don't know if the Rocket is going to be good or bad for him in this type of matchup. All I know is that it's going to obviously be good against the Balloon. But besides that, I, I don't know. I think here we're going to give up the Tower. So then this way we can build up a push. But this time, what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is um, I'm going to go ahead and Balloon like this. So he can't Rocket the Lava Hound and the Balloon, at least not at once. He's going to have to wait. We're going to Miner the Mother Witch here. He's going to go for the Rocket. He ends up hitting the Bomber and the... Um, let's see. I think that's fine, though, because he doesn't have any other air defense, so he's going to go for Skeletons. He cycles a Log, like, pretty much wastes it. Um, and this, I think, should be Tower Down, maybe, like, if he doesn't do anything else. Yeah, it is going to be Tower Down, so that's perfect. Um, he's actually going to pressure really hard here. He's going to go for an RG. So I guess we'll just go skeletons like this. We can go for a Lava Hound. And then he's actually going to go for a Mother Witch. So we're going to go for minions here now that it's locked on the Lava Hound. Um, and then we're going to go for a Balloon. Uh, let's go for a Bomber. He's going to have to rock it here for sure. And as long as these E-Barbs uh, don't take my tower, we should be able to win this one. So yeah, there we go. Uh, not too bad of a matchup. He only has two air counters, Mother Witch and Rocket. That's the one flaw of the RG deck that I'm planning on using end of season. I'm planning on using Fireball, though, not Rocket. I don't know why um, he had Rocket. A couple other people had it, too. I don't know why. Maybe they're just experimenting with it. But Fireball is definitely better um, in the deck, in my opinion. But anyway, very nice win there. All right, so we found our next game versus Ronnie. Give him the good luck. Do we have Lava in our string hand? Yes, we do. That's perfect. So we can just actually Lava first play. And he's going to waste a Miner, so that's perfect. If he commits anything with that, depending on what it is, we might ignore it. Like, if you were to play something like Spear Goblins, I probably would have just gone like for a Bomber in the same lane where the Lava is to help support it. 
Um, so he, he's got archers. Archers, minor, uh, so mortar, okay. I don't know how I feel about that mortar. It's like, that's the truth. That's not doing much for him. Yeah, that, this, uh, he might have already lost, if I'm being honest with you guys. We can minor in the back. He might have rocket, um, uh, what the... Uh, okay, well, uh, I mean, he is going to pressure and probably do a good amount of damage to our tower, but what is he going to do here? Hello? Sir? Sir? Well, there you guys have it. He, 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 he couldn't do anything. Like I said, I didn't agree with that mortar, um, but at the same time, I mean, we do have arrows for the... I mean, we, we have a good matchup, like, but wow, that, that, uh, wow. Um, okay. On the next one, then, I, I like it when it's just, you know, nice and easy for me. <laughs> like, wow. Um, yeah. And often a lot of games in this deck result in a three crown or a two crown because it's such an aggressive deck. Like, it's just played so aggressively. Like you saw in the first game, two against the RG deck. Like, you often have to give up a tower. Um, so he's going to go for a bar barrel. Let's just mega minion on top of that. And then I'm in a minor. I don't think he has a tornado if he has an ice golem, so I'm gonna play it not in the safe spot. Loon cycle probably. Okay, so loon cycle. Um, we're just gonna cycle skeletons, I think. And then after that, we're set to lava. We we have minions in cycle. If he pressures with a loon, he shouldn't get more than a hit, even with that minor. So he just spent five elixir. Um, that might not even get a hit, even with that minor tanking. It does. But we're up 5 Elixir. Well, down 2 because we played a Lava. But I think he's going to have a hard time defending this, especially if he has Archers. So he's going to go for his Bomb Tower. We're praying here that he has Archers. Okay, he is going to have the Musk. So what that essentially mean is, means is he's obviously, you know, he's got a pretty good chance of defending. Um, we are going to try to get some good value arrows here, though. Um, we, we do clip the, the skeletons, as you just saw, and we get the lava pups on top of the tower. Barbaro comes in late, and he's gonna lose a good chunk of his tower, almost his whole tower, actually, if he doesn't do anything else. We'll see, that's gonna... Wow, yeah, that's... I'm almost tempted to, at this point, we could even set up for a lava in the... in the right lane, potentially, because that tower is almost guaranteed to be down. Not quite, but it's so close, so... It's, um... He's going to balloon, I guess. We're going to try to save our tower here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pressure. He just spent so much elixir. And he has to, if he lets that bomber connect, then we're, as I said, practically guaranteed to get the tower. I'm going to minor. Hopefully we take tower here. If we get a death drop from the uh, death damage, yeah, we, I think we won. That, that should be, yeah, this, this is looking really good for us. And our tower is still at half health and we have both of his pretty much completely taken out so he's got a, his only chance at, at this point is taking our tower now and then even then um he still has to take our whole left tower and also defend at the same time he doesn't even take this tower here so his chances are slim to none at this point like i, I think it's over it's not a, not a bad matchup for us I, I think like i mean it just overall um, he only has Musk and Bomb Tower to defend our Lava Loon pushes, and I just think overall Bomb Tower isn't as nearly as good anymore after the nerf it got, so really easy win here. Um, like, in your defense, even though you play it really aggressively, because you have Mega Minion and Minions, you got some solid air, de air defense, and you often can win against the Lava Loon mirror matches because you have a fast cycle, so you can outcycle them and at the same time defend, so it actually works out perfectly. So there we go, uh, almost top 500. Let's keep going. Um, here we go. So we do have lava in our starting hand. I, I, I'm probably just gonna lava first play. Honestly, um, it's a good play. It, it works more than it doesn't. It doesn't always work, but good lava players when they have it in their starting hand, they always lava first play. Um, so be sure to do that. Don't be afraid to do it. You know, you could lose because of it, but at the same time, you're more likely to win because of it. So just always remember that. Um. Bandit's gonna get no damage because we play the skeletons perfectly. So something like a ghost you're gonna want to ignore. So that way you can build up your push, obviously. Um, because if you're gonna be defending a ghost, you know, you can't expect to uh So we're actually gonna go ahead and balloon here because he just used his E-Wiz and his magic archer. 
And unless he's got a fireball, that might even be tower down. He's got a poison. So Pekka, but with E-barbs instead of something. I don't know what. So we're going to let the Magic Archer lock on, I think. We we are going to have to give up some damage, unfortunately, here. Uh, you, you have to, with the Lava, know when to take damage. Um, you, you can't over-defend. If you do that, you're just going to put yourself in awkward situations, like awkward cycles. Here, though, a Miner is going to be fine on defense, just because I don't want to lose my whole tower. But if he is going to commit E-Barbs and take my tower, obviously I am going to have to ignore that. And that is what we're going to have to do right now, actually, because I guarantee he's going to play E-Barbs. And there would be no point in playing my minions and my skeletons to defend, because first of all, he might have not even let that happen. He might have played something else with it which then it would have been a complete waste. And if I did that, I wouldn't have been able to support my Lava Hound right away. I need to get his tower here to stay in this game, for sure. We're, we're still all right. If we take his tower here, we definitely have a chance of winning. Um, I am going to arrow this, though. I want to take out the Magic Archer, so I'm going to send in a Miner on it as well, just because it's really annoying. The E-Wiz I'm not too concerned about, but the Magic Archer, I do not want that staying alive because um, it gets a lot of value against like my minions and... Like, it, I just don't want it uh, staying alive for too long. Simple as that, I guess. So, aggressive poison on his end. Um, this is, yeah, this is kind of close. Um, we're going to have to be careful. We got to get a lava down eventually. The question is, of course, when. Um, so, we, we got to be cautious here. I think we minions this lane. Um... I, I think lava now is the appropriate time. We we got to get a lava down at this point. I don't know how I feel about this situation. We're in a very awkward situation, so we got to be extremely careful here. We're going to get arrows down. Um, if I could kill that magic archer, that would be lovely, but I don't think we're going to, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, as long as we do end up taking out this bandit, we should be okay. Um, you just see here, we're playing this nice and slow. We're trying to just be patient, um, and wait for our opportunity to, uh, go in, of course. This might be it. That was an aggressive magic archer. So we'll see now if we can set up eventually. Um, let's see. He did just go magic archer and he was, so we're, we're pressuring here. Um, if that can get a hit, we're looking pretty good. We are going to get a hit. Ewiz comes down late, so we're going to actually go ahead and send in a Miner, and then we're going to send in a Balloon. If we get Death Damage here, we win. Oh, wait. Death Damage doesn't do it. We got the hit. GG. Whew. Yeah, we had to play that well. We, we played it smart. We were patient. Um, not a horrible matchup, in my opinion. He had a lot of pressure, a lot of spam. Sure, it was annoying, but... Here's, you know, here's the thing, right? Like, he, um, he never used his P.E.K.K.A. His P.E.K.K.A. gets no value in that matchup whatsoever, right? So, like, that helps us out. Um, and the fact that his Poison 2 takes forever to kill my stuff. So, not not too bad overall, but we, we had to really focus there, get good value out of our Bomber Skeletons, right? So, 4-4-4, four, 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 um, working our way up to our scene highest. Let's keep going. Yeah, that was a nice win. Eh, sort of. So, found a game versus Paradox. Um, so, he was actually my former um, CRL uh, teammate for, for when I was on CRL East with TTG. So, we're going to let the E-Barbs connect. Um... We're going to go ahead and... We're going to play minions, actually. And then we're going to go balloon in the opposite lane. Because he has to defend the left lane and the right lane. Um, And then if he doesn't have a delivery, I'm pretty sure he's going to lose his tower here. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty good matchup for us. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yep, there are a lot of minor wall breakers in this meta, and it's a pretty good matchup. So, 
Like, there, I don't blame him. There's not much he can do, if I'm being honest. Um, I was kind of hoping we'd get, like, a good game against him, because, like, I know him. Um, yeah, a really good player from Russia. Um, wow, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, we hard counter him, so unfortunately we're not going to get a good game out of it. But it shows you guys how easy it is to beat minor wall breakers with it. At least I think he had wall breakers. I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe he was just using, like, mortar. I, you know, I don't really know, to, t to tell you the truth. Um but we'll we'll take a look here yeah he was using mortar um which again is a good matchup because we of course did beat it earlier as you guys saw so work our way up um i say you know we'll play one or two more games you know and yeah we'll see if we can continue this solid uh win streak here so here we go we found our team we're actually versus igor um we'll give him the good luck really good mortar player so so could be mortar again although the thing about Igor is he's the best mortar player in the game, so I like it's not gonna be as easy. I can tell you guys that right now. Um, he's gonna go for a. I'm gonna arrow that actually. So he's got heal spirit and bomber. Um, he. Oh no. Okay, this is hard. <laughs> Golem's a very bad matchup, but we'll try our best. Like, Golem and Electro Giant are the two worst matchups in my opinion for this deck. Electro Giant, you actually have a higher chance of beating, but Golem is very, very hard. Um, we have to for sure just like, just kind of like pressure and hope for the best. Like, right? Like we, we have to, um, kind of just wait a second. We might be looking pretty good here as long as we can take out this e-barb yeah looking all right looking all right just got to take out this lumberjack asap um okay if we can build up another lava push and he can't defend we might be fine uh i, I i'm gonna do it again And if we defend this. And that doesn't take the tower. Uh-oh. Does that? If he doesn't have a lightning, I don't think that does enough. Does Heal Spirit do enough damage? Hang, hang on a second. If that Heal Spirit connected, we would have lost. My tower is at 124, or 126, I think, the King Tower. Heal Spirit does 133. So if that jumped on the King Tower, we would have lost. Dang. Let's go. We just beat we beat Igor. He's on a pretty big tilt. Um, because I saw him high up earlier. So we're gonna play one more game. Last game, winner lost for sure. Gonna be the last one. Um, man, yeah, you guys can see Lava Deck pretty good. I mean, we just beat Golem. I, you know, that's how you have to beat it. You have to three crown them. You have to kind of do like a base raise for the three crown. I still do think Golem does have matchup. I think Golem uh, Golem Knight, which is harder. I think the variant he had, we do have more of a chance just because he doesn't have that Night Witch that's obnoxious for us to deal with because we don't have like a single way of killing it um, when it's behind the Golem. But his variant, probably not as hard about it some way. Oh, oh, here we go. So reverse Lucas X Gamer, who he's probably on a tilt as well. So here we go. Um, let's see what he wants to do. Like if he's going to do anything right away, we can wait. But I mean, otherwise, all right. So he's going to Ice Golem. We can go Lava. Um, Ice Golem, mor okay, Mortar, so, uh, let me think here, I think we should just Balloon and go like this, and then we can go, um, well, that, um, uh, <laughs> that, that, uh, was quite a good miner. I'll give him that. Well played, sir. 
that 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 was a good miner. So I guess we'll go balloon. He's gonna go minor. Fireball, so easy defense for him. Do you get the death damage on the tower? I feel like since he has musk, this is a little harder. Um, but if they have like mortar bait, it's so easy because your arrows get so much value. But since in this matchup, our arrows don't get a lot of value, um we might have them yeah well clearly we're having a more difficult time than uh the mortar decks we played previously um but you know we'll see if we can somehow make a comeback we'll see um i guess we're gonna bomber here uh this is a good opportunity for us to use our arrows because we're actually hitting some some stuff which is great so uh, um and he's going to of course protect the musketeer So yeah, I mean, we'll see. This is, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not looking good. I, I think this is way harder. Um, he played it well, like I'll give him that, but this is definitely much, much harder than the Mortar decks we previous played, just, just, uh, previously played just because he does not have anything that our arrows get, like, I feel like a suitable amount of value against, if that makes sense. Um, but still, you know, he played well, um, you know, I'm fine with this being the loss, you know, we get at the end, um, Luke's pretty good, Pro Lucas is pretty good, he he's probably on a pretty big tilt, um, because, because I think he was higher up, actually, um, but still, really good video, um, we got a lot of good wins, um, yeah, he's pretty tilted, um, uh, but anyway, we're, we're almost back up to our season high, so that's pretty good, um, last few videos of the season are most likely gonna be, like, RG, because I wanna be, like, high up, um, RG's, like, one of my best decks, too, um, that and Electro Giant, so, um, yeah, we played against some really good players this video, so even though we're not, like, top 100, we got some, uh, some really good games in. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Make sure to like it if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And thanks again. Until next time, guys.